So Carl White and the Marketing Animals this upcoming June down in Florida is going to be putting together a boutique event, a little tiny thing. And what he's going to do is, well, that allows him to basically spend more time with you. Right. Okay? And when they do this, they're going to teach you how to do way more business with less time. You're yep. going to want to check it out. Click this banner right over there. All right, check this out. Home equity for homeowners 62 and older grew to, believe it or not, $6.6 .6 trillion in the Jeez. fourth quarter of 2017. That's a massive number. This is according to the National Reverse Mortgage Lenders Association and Risk Spans Reverse Mortgage Market Index. Didn't know they had one of those. No, they didn't know they had one. And here's the thing. What they're saying is, is that seniors are taking advantage of reverse mortgages more now than ever. Gotcha. And what that's doing is keeping some of these houses off the market that would otherwise go on the market. I see. So, so it's kind of of interesting what this tells us is more seniors are finally taking advantage of reverse mortgages right and this is what you guys need to be doing we keep telling you this you want to talk to Liberty Home Equity Solutions and they're gonna be doing a webinar with us on the 26th you can click this banner right over there and guys they'll show you exactly what you can make on these things yeah it's astronomical yeah. these are great loans for seniors and they are picking up steam So check this out. The FHFA yes. is coming out with a uniform mortgage-backed security. Right. Yeah. Now they're doing this Finally. in June <laughs> of next year. And now they're telling you this year so you can get ready for the smooth transition. Silky smooth as always. Right. See, Fannie formed a company called Common Securitization Solutions, or CSS, CSS. in 2014. Got it. And from that company, they've been using their Common Securitization Platform, or their CSP, Got it. to create a uniform mortgage-backed securities, which I would assume they call UMBS. -M -M okay, right. yeah. According to the FHFA, CSS has been using the CSP to process about a thousand new securities each month and performing monthly bond administration functions related to 260,000 single class securities backed by approximately 9.8 million loans. Man, that's a big number already. So it's already working. And by mid-2019, Fannie and Freddie will be using their new platform to create 900,000 securities backed by 27 million loans. Man. This is huge, Man. guys. Man. Okay, all right, stop, stop. All right, let's see. GFE uh, 2010. Um, right. Trend. Right. Now, 27 million loans with yeah. a new securitization platform. Yeah. Um, yeah, this thing's going to go off just without a hitch. Easy peasy, man. No problem. Smooth as silk. Smooth as silk. Hey, so how big is this? Fannie says they'll have a billion dollars invested in the project by next year, but FHFA projected that use of the UMBS will save. 400 million to 600 million dollars per year. So how are you saving 400 million dollars on 26 million loans? It seems know. like it could be more, I don't know. I don't know, whatever. Right now it costs on average $18,342 to sell the average home, according to Zillow. That seems like a lot of money, doesn't it, Frank? Sure does, Brian. Seems excessive. Now, why do sellers have to spend all that money? Well, according to Zillow, decluttering, finishing, and doing projects can sure add up. Zillow even says a seller will often will spend over a month just getting their house ready. But Zillow says where things really start to add up is with the taxes and commissions. On average, sellers are spending $13,357 on commissions and taxes alone. Boy, when Zillow puts it that way, it sure does seem like too much money on all those taxes and commissions. Don't you think, Brian? I sure do, Frank. Well, you can't do anything about the taxes. I mean, I know the old saying. If Zillow only had a less expensive alternative for all those commissions, Brian. Brian? Brian? I said if... Only Zillow had a solution for sellers so they didn't have to pay all those excessive commissions that Zillow was cool enough to point out about the sellers. Brian? Brian? You're right, Frank. If old man. So the numbers are just in, and this is big as well, guys. Every single state in the country saw their GDP go up 
for the third quarter of last year. Hmm. Every single one of them. <laughs> now that's good news. And don't you go drawing any conclusions on this stuff, you hear me? Well, here's the strange part. So it went up for everyone. Everybody. You know, that's, that's great. Right. Yet in 31 states, the percentage of construction went down. Meaning those states still did better despite construction actually dropping. And construction is a massive part of your GDP. Mm. States like California, New York, and all the states bordering Mexico saw drops in construction. Which is nuts because we usually associate these states with the highest growth rates in the country. So the thinking is, if we can fill some of the thousand upon thousands of construction jobs in this country, which is so desperately needed, then we would see even greater growth. And we would, and this is, goes right to what we do for a living. Our country right now is doing really good. Our GDP is up in every single state. Mm. But in construction, once again, we get another indicator where we're hurting is in real estate. Yeah. Where we're hurting with, is with lending right now. We are not in a housing recession or depression as we've seen in the past, but overall with our volume, we sure are. Yeah, so let us know your thoughts on all this down below. We'd love your comments. That would be great. You guys have a great day. Share it. Have a great weekend. Share. <laughs> and we'll catch you. Monday, we're going to be in Boston sure. next week, so we're going to be doing some road shows. Oh, yeah. So that's going to be kind of fun. So, oh, yeah. Hey, for the movement guys out there in Boston, we'll see you there like Tuesday. I can't wait. I'm going to do that. I'm going to walk that freedom, freedom trail. trail. I'm doing the freedom trail. We got the extra day, right? You better bring a big coat. We got some the extra. Galoshes.